airport, at the airport, at the airport. We just went through security and we're going to our gate number. So we got here with a whole bunch of extra hours because our flight got delayed a little bit, which should be okay because I'll probably make up for it in travel, in the air. Um, this is little Miss Laura here posting something funny, I guess, on Instagram. Wait, I'll show you. I was taking a, a, a selfie and Joe took a selfie on his phone and sent it to me, so now I just Instagrammed it using her selfie. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> I love your face, your kiss face. So, whose do you like best? Your kiss face, Adora. I'm having a glass of wine. Something very important. I'm trying what to you, a fuzzy you... thing on my headphones. <laughs> I've ripped it already, so things are not going my way right now. <laughs> and they better have German beer on this plane. Actually, <laughs> Germany Airport, Frankfurt, I should say. My favorite. Mm. How are you doing, baby? Tired? It's been a really long flight. That one comes with a little plane inside of it. The toy is a plane. We're really tired. We only slept a couple of hours, which is odd for us. We usually sleep the entire flight, but we're in Frankfurt now, heading to our which is a A28. How cool is that? It's like a big giant. What is it, baby? A dome? It's just a big bird. Big bird. You get a picture with your iPad? Magical. This airport is gorgeous. Oh, shopping. Oh, yeah, you forgot a pair of pants. You can just buy them here. I love this airport. Isn't this airport beautiful, baby? Baby, isn't the airport beautiful? It really is. We were here when they first opened. It was like the third day they opened. Yeah. Last time we came. They last October. Yeah, that was in the last year. It was be so beautiful and it smells amazing. Look at that car. And we are at the Frankfurt Airport for anyone asking or wondering. Let's go find me some more Kinder. There's a bakery in this airport. It smells amazing. <gasps> oh, I'm such a sucker for bread. Look at those pretzels. And those donuts with fruit jam. We're grabbing breakfast at Hausman's. Baby, how do you pronounce you that? Got it. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Okay, what'd you get? I got um, Toast Italia, which is um, scrambled eggs with some Italian seasoning, some roasted veggies. Kick off the morning, right? You know, it's 3 a.m. our time. We didn't eat all of our food on the plane anyway. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's, I, okay. I didn't eat all my food on my plane. I'm having eggs, toast, arugula, and bacon, and my water, and you got apple juice. Philadelphia to Frankfurt, which was actually only six 
hours and 55 minutes, which is the quickest we've ever been on a flight. Right, baby? I don't know. I think the last one was about the same. I think, so? I think you were surprised last time, too. Well, this was about, so it was about but seven hours. so tired and groggy, it's hard to remember. Yeah. And then we landed in Frankfurt at 7 a.m. Um, and then at 7.30. And then at 10 a.m., we boarded Frankfurt to come to Naples because there's no direct flight from Philadelphia to Naples. Uh, so we just got to Naples and we just got into a car, which by the way, they gave us like the smart, the small, like tiniest car ever, which is totally fine because the streets in Naples, like near where my family lives, are really small. So it's actually, I think, good because it's easy to navigate. It's only the two of us. So we are headed to my Nana's house. Woohoo! I'm very excited. She's got my chicken soup already because, you know, that's my favorite thing uh, that she made for me for my entire life so every time I come that's the first meal I started off with is her chicken soup so it's gonna be a good time and this is the iPad remember I was telling you we take this to Italy with us with navigation mounts right on that beautifully we are about to to report back to you on the flight because this was our first time taking Lufthansa um, International. We usually take it from when we arrive in Frankfurt to Naples but this is the first time we took it international. Usually we fly US Airways. Um, like a lot of you said, it's a great flight. Beautiful new plane. The seats, a lot of you didn't mention the seats are smaller, which they are, but they recline a lot further, right? They definitely recline a lot further, but the seats are smaller. Um, the flight attendants were very nice. It was a very nice, very nice flight. I thought everything about it I liked. Um, so all in all, it was good. So so far, it is 1:45 uh, here in Italy. So we're six hours behind. Uh, so in in the tunnel again. So back in the U.S., it's about 7:45 in the morning, and we left yesterday at. 30. So, how long is that of a trip? How long is that? I don't know. I don't even know if you can see me because we're in a tunnel, but it's a long trip, but it's definitely worth it and uh, we're excited. As much as I absolutely love Italy, I will never drive here. Want me to teach you how to drive stick? Oh, heck no. I can't drive stick shift and these roads are so teeny tiny and these cars like drive at you. And then there's scooters, and then there's motorcycles, and it's just way too much for me. But this one over here, the zone. No problem, no problem. You got this, boo-boos. This is my Nana street. I think we need to pull the mirrors in, baby. Uh, this is a two-way street, and look how teeny, teeny, tiny it is. Like one car can fit under. You see up there, it's like, it's so funny. house is right after that green cake. Now those guys in my way move. And this is my dad's cousin because we live next door to each other. We are now headed to my mom's house. We went to my grandma's house and my cousins were there so we couldn't really film a whole lot but we will be filming there so don't you worry. But now we're headed to my mom's and I'm really excited to see my brother and then we're gonna we're meeting at my mom's house and then we're all going to my aunt's because my aunt has like a really nice you know, outdoor big patio and stuff so we can you know have a lot of people there uh, my brother's girlfriend's gonna be there and uh, we're just gonna have a good time I'm so excited it's uh, 8 15 right now p.m. we took a couple hour nap we took a nap for a couple hours which was definitely needed uh, so now we are ready for round two uh, of singing in family Wow. 
We are headed to the beach. We're going to the beach in Miseno, which is like around the corner from my grandmom's house. I cannot wait to get corn on the cob and eat it on the beach and water ice and swim and tan and lay out and do all the fun things to do at the beach. Beautiful day too. It's hot, but it's not too, too hot. It's still a little early though, so. That's it. Not no mozzarella because it's, um, it's too hot out. So it like start to melt. Those are some big lemons right there. I can see one on the land of. Let me. I love it. We are in Miseno. This is the beach. The closest beach to my grandma's house. It's like five minutes down the road. This is the beach. In fact, this was the beach when I first learned how to swim and my dad used to like literally like walk three feet out with me when I was like two or three and then he would drop me and walk back for a few feet and then he would let me get find my way back. This is the beach where it happened. The one thing is nobody I haven't really explained is that Laura, this is Laura's brother. We don't speak a single word of the same language, which is always interesting. And I don't wear shorts like that either. We are still on the beach with me saying one of the best things about the beach is here. There's always something going on. There's like vendors for like this, which is coconut, fresh coconut, watermelon, and honeydew. There's um, fresh cooked um, corn on the cob. There's um, water rice. There's constantly like vendors. And this is my favorite. This is again I'm screaming for coconut. It's like the best kebab ever. So we're back at Laura's grandma's. Uh, we had dinner. We're heading out to go get some Targaryen beer or something. We are headed to uh, Margellino to get Caralian beer. Um, like Margellino is known for Taralian beer, so that's what we're gonna go there for. I'm not gonna get beer because I don't drink beer. Um, we're meeting up with my brother first because he's driving. He's gonna drive us all to together. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't had a really good Taralo in a year, so it should be a fun time. And yeah, I think Joe's excited for it too because he's never had it. I don't know what that is. He doesn't even know what that is, even though he's in Trali before, just not in Mangelino. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting there. <laughs> no, I will not marry you. Me? Did he say he wants to marry me? And hey, my wife. No, I'm not your wife. <laughs> no, and we're not getting cow lips snack either. Joe, io mia moglie, America. You love Americans. Is that what you said? I love Americans. Americans. So do I. And I love Italians too, though. <laughs> I mean, I married one. Especially when I Italian, I'm Italian. I'm confused, man. He said, did he want, does he want to marry me? No, what he, did he said say? he eventually wants to come to America with his wife. Oh, you need a wife first. Yeah. <laughs> right where the store is, right here. But the Bene Fratelli has just brought us up with Okai. Right there. And there's a hospital right there. And where is it? What is it? I, the hospital for the Bene Fratelli. Oh, well, what is good about it? I was born there. That's the hospital where him and I were both born. Right there. Uh oh. Somebody's coming out with a baby. Yeah, that's crazy. I came out of there. I came out of there, so did he. You don't even see it. Like normally in the U.S., there's like hospital signs everywhere. Like if you're heading towards the hospital, there's a lot of signs everywhere. But here, there's not. You can see the cross. The emergency room right there. The emergency, the emergency room. So is this the place we're going? Is this is this the place we're going? It's a video. Eh. Eh. Is this the place? How do you how do you pronounce that? Chalet <laughs> de la Palme. <laughs> palme, palme. I got one word right. 
Oh boy, look what they have on the menu. They have Kinder. One of their favorite things is when Joe reads Italian, so he's going to read off a pack of cigarettes how bad smoke is. Il fumo, dananja ziza, governmente, T-E-G nipple farm. In the back? Oh, it's got a different one. Il fumo ostriches lay arteries e provokes artery infection. <laughs> How's your first Sarale and Marjolino? Well, it's not really my first, but I had it before. Yeah, but not here. Very good. They're warm, aren't they? I can't believe you ate those cow lip things though. Stop it. It's delicious. Don't do that to me ever again.